Okay guys, what's up? Welcome to the second video. I'm glad you're still here. You're getting closer to that t-shirt by the minute. Better be getting excited. So, what we're gonna talk about right now is importing leads. And again, like the previous videos, you don't need to go do this now, but I want you to understand exactly how it works. It's a real simple process. So, if you have leads from another autoresponder, you're coming from another autoresponder, because ours is much better, uh, what you're gonna wanna do is probably import those leads uh, and then start using the system to bring in new leads. But you wanna start off with the leads you already have so you can send them emails. Now, it's really easy to do, and really easy to actually segment people and, and determine which leads do what. And if you have current segments, you can do that as well. So what we're going to do now is import a list of dummy leads into the system. So what we're going to need first is just a CSV file, very basic right here with the list of the emails if you just want to import those. You can also use a different column for the name and last name of the emails if you're into that kind of thing. I usually just import the emails. So you're going to go up here and you're going to click import. You're going to go browse files and what you're going to do is go find that file right here. So here's my file. Boom putting that in, and it's gonna go and begin the import process. Now, here's what you need to know while we're getting into that. The first thing you're gonna see is that it pops up and it's gonna say, after your leads are imported, we will verify the information. Wait until we approve your leads, and then you'll see them in your lead panel. So what you need to do right here is you wanna to go to the column and mark the columns as what they are. So I only had one column, so I'm gonna mark it as email. The second column is names, the second or the third column is last name. You can do that as well. Now, I want everybody who comes into this to be tagged with the tag new lead, okay? So if I have other leads in my system and I wanna differentiate these leads between another one, uh, I can tag them like this. On top of that, when a person comes in the system, they're naturally gonna get tagged at the time when they're imported. So if you forget to add a tag, you forget anything you know, like that, you can go back and always find out exactly who you imported, when, where, so you can re-tag them and re-segment them. Now, what you're gonna need to do now, that's optional, but it will greatly speed up the process, is you're gonna need us to give us your previous mailing platform, your username, and temporary password. Now, why do we do this? We're not going in there to mess with your, your emails, steal your emails, or anything like that. What we're going in there to do is to confirm that the list that you're sending us is actually your list. Uh, we don't want a lot of people coming in here, uploading lists of people that don't belong to them, have not opted into their businesses, and then blasting them with that. That's gonna hurt our deliverability, it's gonna hurt your deliverability, and we also wanna help you make sure that you're importing the list the right way. For example, when you're importing lists, you wanna make sure to remove all your unsubscribes, remove anyone that's complained, you can find all these easily in any autoresponder you've been using. Now, once you have that, you wanna go and grab the list, you wanna import it like I have right now, put in your previous mailing platform, uh, put in a username, I'm just gonna put fake, and I'm for password, I'm gonna put fake, but give us a temporary password, temporary username. Again, we are legally bound not to touch anything. We're just going in to make sure the past emails you've sent out have a positive complaint ratio. Okay, as in, you're not getting more than one complaint per thousand emails. You can also go in and put in your phone number if you want, and we can give you a call if you wanna confirm that way. Now, this part right here is optional. You don't have to do it. However, if you do not fill out this information right here, uh, our staff is going to contact you through this little chat box down here eventually. It's gonna pop up and say, hey, we're looking at your leads right now, and they're gonna need things like a screenshot or proof that these leads are yours before we let you go out there and start mailing out the system. This is to protect everybody's deliverability in the system and make sure that your deliverability stays top notch, and we're not gonna be letting in any turds who could hurt your deliverability um, or, or anything like that. So you're gonna mark this, I've read and agreed to the terms of service, and then you're gonna hit import. And what's gonna happen is they're all gonna be imported into the system, we're gonna prove it, and then probably within a few hours, you're gonna see all the leads in here ready to be mailed. Now in a lot of systems, they don't even let you import leads, okay, without a phone call and in-depth stuff, or they'll mess with your leads and run like a, a slow mail out that is, is not a good representative, or they just will just do all sorts of things to mess with you. This is the quickest way to get all your leads in the system and get you working inside the system as fast as possible. So work with us on this, Again, we're not gonna be digging around your crown or doing anything. We're just confirming your leads are actually yours and then getting them to you as fast as possible so you can legally go out there and email everyone on there. Our goal is to mess with you the very least. So that's what we got going on right here. In the next video, we're gonna talk about how to go out there and set up your opt-ins and your funnels so that you can do all sorts of other cool stuff like automate your email marketing, track how well your funnels are doing, other stuff like that. So it's been Becker. I'll see you in the next video.